Hi! In the previous video, we learned about the data schema used by Vertex AI for a text classification problem. We prepared the dataset in Python and uploaded it to a Google Cloud Storage bucket. We used Pydantic to enforce the schema in Python. In this video, we will import the prepared dataset into Vertex AI. As I explained earlier, if you want to train an ML model in Vertex AI, you must point it to a Vertex AI dataset. Let's learn how we can create the dataset. First, make sure you are in the correct project and type Vertex AI into the search bar. Go to Datasets and click Create Dataset. In the window, give your dataset a name, select text and single label classification. Leave the region as is. You can see several options to import the data. It's always good to check the data guide first. You can see here we have some restrictions. For example, we need a minimum of 20 docs. That is two labels and 10 docs for each label. And also we have maximum constraints. Fortunately, our dataset already falls within these constraints. Click import from Google Storage. Select the two JSON-L files we created earlier. Leave the data split default. Remember that we added the ML underscore use tag to all our samples in the preparation stage. So Vertex AI knows how to split the data. Now click continue. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes to import this data. This is a long running operation. For example, if you use Vertex AI Python SDK, it doesn't return the dataset object straight away, but returns a long running operation object. After the data is imported, we can go and analyze this data. We can see the number of samples for positive and negative labels. We also see how many training, validation, and testing samples are there. One thing to note here is that we don't have 2000 training samples as we set up in our data preparation phase. This is because there are duplicates and sometimes there are non-printable Unicode characters such as next line or end of guarded area character. Vertex AI will throw an error like this when it encounters data samples with such characters as shown here in the error logs. Here's an error in this example viewed through Notepad++. If we go back to our data preparation stage in code, there are string replacements to get rid of few such characters. This is not an exhaustive list. This actually brings us to an important point. It is often important to be cautious of errors and warnings shown. Just because you see a number close to the expected the number of samples, don't ignore the errors. If you're not careful, some of these errors may happen during serving. It's much more difficult to debug during serving than in early stages of model development. Let's explore some of the data that's available to us. For example, you can expand this text and see the actual text in a data sample. Or you can go to the Analyze tab and see some metadata, such as the region, the created time, the last updated time, and other information. Another important note to make is, when you create a dataset or any other resource in Vertex AI, don't leave it hanging for days or weeks. You may get billed for leaving resources unattended. Instead, it's best to destroy or delete these resources and recreate them when you are ready to move ahead. That's it for creating a dataset. In the next video, we'll use the dataset to train an ML model.